Now, if you're going to pick a certification roadmap or a pathway, I personally much prefer the CompTIA one. Um, I think they do a really, really good job here of trying to show you uh, how things line up for particular job functions. And so mm -hmm. if you want to check this out, um, it's also in our show notes at yourcyberpath.com slash 76, uh, or you can go to CompTIA directly. And on their website, they have it at uh, comptia.org slash... Uh, I just had this up and now I am talking and not doing, okay, there we go. CompTIA.org slash certs roadmap. So yeah, CompTIA.org slash certs roadmap. And this is an interactive one. And when you get there, they're going to bring up five typical positions that people are interested in. This includes IT support specialists, IT networking specialists, cybersecurity specialists, software and web developers, or data specialists. And when you click on one of those, for instance, cybersecurity specialists, it will tell you some information about that, such as the median salary, the number of jobs available, the expected job growth. And if you click learn more, it will actually bring up a path of what is beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and what you should be looking at at each level, um, similar to some of the things we've talked about previously when we talked about cyberseek.org, because Kaki right. is a lead partner in cyberseek.org. Yeah. What I really like about this is when you go down to the bottom, they simplify this big, crazy chart into a single line and says, here are the certifications we recommend you get based on this position. And so, for instance, if you look at the big uh, CompTIA roadmap chart that I have in our show notes for you, you will see there's probably about 100 certifications on here. They include CompTIA certifications, which are in bold or red because obviously they're promoting their own stuff. But in addition to that, they have the equivalent certifications from other providers too. For example, if I'm looking at the information security path and I look at something like CAS Plus, which is under the expert level, when you're at the expert level, you can see that also is the same equivalent as CISSP or OSCE or other certifications like that. And so this is how they break it up, where they break it into columns of beginner or novice, where you start out, intermediate, advanced, and then expert. And as you progress from left to right, uh, going across this career path, you're going to pick different certifications in those areas that are going to align to your goal or that job that you're working towards. And so, for instance, if you are somebody who's going to be working in information security, you should start out with kind of the trifecta, which we tell you guys all the time, right? A plus, network plus, security plus. And that takes you through beginner and into intermediate. Yep. Then as you start moving from intermediate into advanced, you go into CISA plus, which is cybersecurity analyst or pen test plus. And then as you go to expert, you become CAS plus or CISSP. And there's other ones you could choose from as well, but that's kind of the, the big generics as you go through this. And based on each of those five uh, different roles that you may come across, there's different levels as you're going across this roadmap. And so that's why I really like the CompTIA one better mm -hmm. because it really does break it down into you start out with zero years of experience and what are you going to do for the next five to 10 years as you move from beginner to intermediate, advanced, and into expert? Yeah, I, I, I agree. I like the CompTIA roadmap as well. And I, you know what? I really also want to do a, a, an explicit shout out that it isn't just their certifications on this page. Because honestly, yeah. when you said, hey, Kep, I'm going to send this over and I want you to take a look at it, I kind of like did like a, uh, an eye roll because I was like, oh yeah. man, all I'm going to see is the CompTIA stuff. That's no fun, right? <laughs> but no, they actually have all kinds. Like they've got the GIAC, uh, they've got OS, uh, OSCE, OSCP. So, you know, they've got a lot of stuff. Now, so, you know, so good on them for, uh, for, for doing that because I, I think that makes this uh, genuinely helpful. Um, now the one thing they don't have on here though, is like, well, let's, let's look at that expert quadrant. So they've got their CASP plus, and then they've got a bunch of other ones, but I, I think that it's, it's a little, it could be a little confusing for people if they think, oh, well, CASP plus is really just, you know, hot plug, uh, you know, swappable with, uh, you know, CISSP or CCIE. And it's like, no, not exactly. I mean, no. those are experts in the respective, uh, you know, sub disciplines inside of information security. So like CSS, CISSP, I would see it as more as like a governance risk and compliance area. CCIE would be more about, you know, hardcore network security, uh, OSCE, you know, red teaming, that sort of thing. So do unpack this a little bit more so that you understand, you know, what, how these things actually differentiate. 